Hi LEGO fans, it's been almost a year since the Batman movie hit theatres and LEGO are still producing Batman movie toys. We've got series 2 of the collectible Batman movie minifigures and on Black Friday we got the magnificent Joker Manor. Those are not the only new sets available and today I'm going to be unboxing, speed building and reviewing Set number 70923, the Bat Space Shuttle with 643 pieces. As a toy maker, the great thing about Batman is his unlimited potential for building ever more elaborate hardware. And the Space Shuttle is no exception, given that every time NASA launched one of these, it cost an estimated $450 million. The 643 piece part count includes six minifigures, or more accurately, three minifigures and three bat suits. We've got Batman, Dick Grayson, Catwoman, Firestarter Batsuit, Reggae Man Batsuit and Space Batsuit. Before we open up the box and see what's inside, let's flip it over and take a quick look at the box art on the back. This is quite a big box considering the 643 piece part count. For comparison, Kai's Fire Mech from the Ninjago movie came in exactly the same size box and had 944 pieces, almost 30% more. So I imagine we're going to see some quite large elements in this set, particularly in the Space Shuttle build. The Space Shuttle is 11 inches long, 7 inches wide, and you can see there's a large element at the front there for the nose cone. That's definitely going to be an exclusive for this set, and I hope that's a printed piece and not a stickered piece. We're also getting a command center with somewhere to store those extra bat suits, a useful bat kayak, and a moon buggy that stores inside the shuttle. The large nose cone piece is removable so you can put Batman inside, and the rocket stages can be removed allowing for free flight. It looks like we've got some stud firing guns, and conveniently this set can be combined with 70909 the Batcave break-in set. I've already reviewed that so we'll dust it off and put them both together see how they look. So a really interesting looking set, let's get this box open and see what we We've got inside. Here's everything that came inside the box. We've got five numbered bags of Lego, another unnumbered bag containing some of those large elements, a 122 page instruction manual, and always with Batman toys, the dreaded sticker sheet. I'm going to go ahead and build the Bat Space Shuttle, and this is going to be a 90 second speed build. And here's the completed build. This took me 1 hour and 25 minutes to put together, and I enjoyed every minute. There are some interesting build techniques, some unusual elements, and some very entertaining minifigures. Visually it's a very impressive looking set and I'm a big fan of the Space Shuttle. I'm also excited to see how this will look when paired together with the Batcave break-in set. But as a standalone product, is this thing any good? Time for a comprehensive review. We'll start out with the Shuttle Dock, which is of course in the Batcave, and these three awesome bat suits. These are on a sliding rail so Batman can easily get to the suit that he needs. And there are three computer display screens monitoring the status of the bat suits, the bat shuttle, and checking for intruders. The three bat suits are neatly and securely mounted on the sliding rail, and there's a backrest to keep them standing upright. We also have a selection of weapons and utilities, including three spikes, two batarangs, and a grapple gun. 
Here's a closer look at the Firestarter bat suit, which comes in this reddish brown, almost burnt umber colour, which is very appropriate. Great print on the front there with Batman's abs, a printed utility belt, and the Batman logo in flames, which is very cool. He's got the matching cowl there in the same colour. Uh, let's take a look at the printing on the back. Yeah, very typical of Batman. He's got the uh, definition for his muscles here and the back of the utility belt. And then we've got this slightly old style yellow cape. Uh, which is more papery. I really like the new Batman capes, which are very soft. But that's the Firestarter bat suit. Here's the awesome Reggae Man bat suit, which of course becomes Robin's costume. This is an awesome thing. It's super colourful, and this headpiece is awesome. I'll show you that in a second. We've got these dual moulded legs, and with printing on the side, we've got dual moulded arms. We've got the awesome printing on the torso, and then this headpiece, which is very heavy for a Lego piece of headgear. This is a huge piece of plastic uh, with multiple mouldings in there. That is just superb. We've also got the uh, the gold there for the cowl. That's just a beautiful, beautiful thing and that's gonna be pretty collectible, I'm sure. He's got this older style papery cape and a little bit more printing on the back there with the jaunty angle utility belt. And finally, here's the space bat suit, which is another awesome suit. He's got this big piece of headgear here with breathing apparatus in. Almost looks like one of the Halo helmets. Let's just take that off for a moment and we can take a look at the printing. Uh, huge amount of metallic printing on the front there. Very, very cool with the Batman logo and all of these pipes. And if we turn him over, we've got something very, very similar on the back. Very unique printing. He's got a standard Batman utility belt and the standard Batman soft style cape, which is always very nice to feel. And then we've got some more printing there on the legs. And if I can get this back on, there we go. That is the space bat suit. At the far end of the dock, you can see where this will connect to the Batcave break-in set. We'll be trying it out later. Behind the dock, we've got this rocky outcrop, which forms the foundation for the floodlights. This is perfectly colour coordinated to fit in with the Batcave break-in set. The floodlights are on a pivot, so you can illuminate either the bat suits or the space shuttle, and they can be pivoted up and down independently, so you can pose them exactly as you need them. The Space Shuttle launch pad is pretty basic. It's also very close to a lot of other equipment that might be heat sensitive. But Batman's a resourceful guy and I'm sure he's got that figured out. There's no gantry for the Space Shuttle, it simply sits behind the launch pad as you see. And there are some red warning lights at the back but that really is it for the Space Shuttle launch pad. As the Bat Space Shuttle is a huge piece of hardware, it's kept in the farthest reaches of the Bat Cave. For that reason, Batman has a convenient Bat Kayak to reach it. The Bat Kayak has a convenient rotating display stand and can be easily popped on and off using the studs. Here's a closer look at the Bat Kayak. For the most part, this is exactly the same element we get in the LEGO City range, except here it is in Batman's signature black colour. And of course, a normal kayak isn't good enough for Batman, so his has a jet engine fitted and some bat wings. This passes the all-important minifigure test, but Batman needs to take care to ensure his cape doesn't get sucked into the jet engine. The Bat Space Shuttle is a sturdy build, and it stands very solidly on those three rocket boosters, so you don't have to worry about it falling over. If you want to, or you have limited display space, you can also sit it on its side. The Bat Shuttle also has two pop joints, so you can detach it from the rocket boosters. We've got two spherical couplers on the front of the external liquid fuel tank, and those snap into receivers on the base of the Bat Shuttle. As with the real Space Shuttle, a good proportion of the height is made up from the rocket boosters. With large external liquid fuel tank, and a pair of reusable solid rocket boosters or SRBs, which can be detached from the main external liquid fuel tank. This set is definitely a great source of these tubular elements, and I really like the two that we've got at the top here making up the external fuel tank. Inevitably, we've got some stickering for the Batman logo, and it's always tricky applying these to curved elements. With the rocket boosters removed, we've got a much smaller build, but it still looks very impressive. The large custom printed nose piece gives it a sleek and futuristic look. Every silver lining has a cloud, and unfortunately the Bat Shuttle wording on the side of the same piece is a sticker, not a print. It's such a shame that LEGO couldn't have printed that at the same time. The windshield is a single yellow transparent element that pops in from behind. And we've got a couple of these metal ingot elements in black, denoting where the top of the cockpit comes away from the shuttle. 
This lifts away pretty easily, revealing somewhere for Batman to sit. And now you can see that yellow transparent element with this convenient flange for removal. There is very little in terms of control gear inside the cockpit, but it does pass a minifigure test with plenty of room for Batman to sit inside. Other than that, control is limited to a pair of sticks and a flight computer, which is a stickered part. Behind the cockpit, and just like the real space shuttle, we've got a cargo bay and this actually opens up very nicely. This is very neatly designed and hides a third vehicle, the Bat Moon Buggy. The only thing we're missing here is a robot arm to lift the Bat Moon Buggy out of the Bat Shuttle. But thankfully this isn't real and I've got fingers. With the Moon Buggy removed, you can actually see one of the elements which is used to attach the fuel tanks to the Bat Shuttle. Here's the Bat Moon Buggy, which as you would expect is a very small build, but it's perfectly engineered to fit inside the cargo bay of the Bat Shuttle. It's also the perfect size for Batman to drive. Taking Batman out of the way, you can see how compact this Moon Buggy is. At the front, we've got a single light and either a horn or some kind of instrument for taking samples. It's got a steering wheel, somewhere for a minifigure to sit, and of course, the obligatory stickered Batman symbol. Finally, we've got an adjustable antenna for communications with the space shuttle, and this neatly folds down so that the whole thing fits inside the cargo bay of the Bat Shuttle. Moving along the roof of the Bat Shuttle, we've got these very cool Batman fins. These are on a pivot so you can angle these to your taste and there are a couple of booster rockets on the side which fall off <coughs> and we have these small adjustable boosters on the side for making fine alterations to the space shuttle's trajectory we've got some more sticker detail at the back of the shuttle warning about the hot exhaust and this hardware on the wings which looks suspiciously like a pair of stud firing guns I feel a demo coming up in a moment. The main rocket booster looks very impressive with that transparent orange piece, and we have a pair of smaller boosters on each side. That large black gear looks like it does something, but it's actually only there for decoration. Just like the real space shuttle, we've got this delta wing design, although Batman has added some adjustable wing tips. Batman loves his weaponry and Lego know their customers well, so we have not one but two stud firing guns on each of the wings, totaling four. We also get a lot of spare silver studs because we're bound to lose loads of these. Shall we see these in action? Of course we shall! And if you're very dexterous, you can fire these both at the same time. So the Bat Shuttle is very cool, it looks awesome to display and it's great fun to play with. Before we wrap up, let's take a look at the minifigures. I'm Batman, yeah and so are these guys. We've seen loads of these before and this is pretty much not very different so I'm not going to spend a lot of time with Batman, just give you a quick look at the printing on the front there with his ripped abs, we've got the utility belt there, a little bit of definition on the back, the plain legs, very nice soft cape. And then we've got his cowl there, which hides a dual expression face. These faces do vary a little bit, but I'm not going to go through the whole lot to see if this one's exclusive. I guess it's not. And with the cowl replaced, that's Batman. This is Dick Grayson. He's a great minifigure. I really like the headgear here. And if we turn that around, we can see there's an alternate expression on the back with a look of wonderment. Let's just take that off so you can see his eyes. And there he is again with a smile. That's just a great smile, great headgear. And the outfit is pretty good too. We've got these printed blue jeans and then this red shirt or the red sweater and shirt combo, I should say. Now, if you look very carefully at the print on the sweater, I'm pretty sure those are birds. So that would be a hint to Dick Grayson being Robin, if I'm correct. But a great little minifigure, great one to have. And finally, we've got the awesome Catwoman minifigure. Now, as far as I can tell, this is the same minifigure that came with Catwoman Cat Cycle Chase, which is a set I've reviewed before. She's got awesome printing on the front here with the zipper going all of the way down that purple cat suit. And if we flip her over, got some more metallic detailing on the back there. We've also got some side printing on the arms. She needs this protection, I guess, for her um, you know, cat burglary activities. And then we've got this kind of cat-like cowl with the great metallic detailing around the eyes we take that off the head is purple underneath and she's got dual expressions which are very similar she's just got a teeth showing there really nice that that print is nice and crisp on the purple background as well and she comes with her signature whip so that is Catwoman 
At the start of the review, I promised I was going to put this together with the Batcave break-in set. And here it is! The set's simply pushed together, there's nothing to actually clip these together. And together they do make quite a large footprint which is going to be quite awkward to display. So it looks kind of cool, but no more cool than putting two different sets together anyway. I wouldn't recommend you rush out and buy Batcave Break-In to go with this one, but Batcave Break-In is a good set and you should definitely check out my review if you've not already done so. So let me get that set out of the way and then we can wrap up with the Space Shuttle. So that was set number 70923, the Bat Space Shuttle from the Lego Batman movie. In conclusion, this is a very nice addition to the 2018 wave of Batman movie sets. I do think this is a little expensive at the $80 price point, but LEGO know that collectors are going to buy this set for the minifigures. Those Batsuits are awesome, particularly the Reggae Man Batsuit, which of course becomes the Robin costume. And the shuttle is pretty well designed. It's true to life with the rocket boosters, and the Bat Moon Buggy that fits inside is a very nicely designed feature. So would I suggest you go out and buy this on the 1st of January? If you're a hardcore collector, then maybe but this is likely to be on sale for the next two years, and there's no doubt that retailers like Amazon and Toys R Us will start discounting in a few months. So it does come with my recommendation, but you might want to wait a little while just for that price point to come down. I hope you enjoyed this Bat Space Shuttle unboxing, speed build and review video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe for more awesome LEGO content. I've got loads more Batman movie review videos on my channel, including the awesome Joker Manor. So if you've not already checked that out, now's a great time. Thanks a million for checking out my review video today. Stay safe and we'll see you on the next build video.